Sisters and brothers, democracy grants each of us a seat at the table of politics and civic life. It's the force that should level the playing field, the promise that our voices cannot be drowned out by the, by the powerful or the wealthy or the well-connected. I am proud to represent the 1.6 million members of my union, AFSCME, workers who strengthen our democracy by virtue of the jobs they perform every single day in every single community across this country. In 1968, Dr. King took his struggle for full democracy to Memphis, Tennessee, on behalf of 1,300 sanitation workers, AFSCME members. These 1,300 workers were demanding respect, demanding fairness, demanding to be heard. The fight in Memphis became Dr. King's last. He went because he understood the connection, the connection between workers' rights and civil rights. Those striking sanitation workers weren't simply fighting for better pay and safer working conditions. They were asserting a claim on our democracy. But today's attacks on workers' rights and voting rights tell us the fight, the fight for democracy is not over. Victories that were decades in the making can be undone with the governor's signature, a legislator's vote, or yes, our own apathy. Laws are being passed that silence workers' voices and make it more difficult for millions of us to cast a the vote. They denigrate the democratic principles on which we stand. But we cannot, we cannot be discouraged. Too much remains to be done. Dr. King issued a clarion call, a call for equality, a call to make democracy a reality for all of God's children because we are standing on his legacy. We must continue his fight for the riches of freedom and the security of justice. You know, there was a, a pastor in, in Germany. His name was Martin Niemöller. He was an anti-Nazi activist. And he once said this, first they came for the socialists, and I didn't speak out because I was not a socialist. Then they came for the trade unionists, and I did not speak out because I was not a trade unionist. Then they came for the Jews, and I did not speak out because I was not a Jew. Then they came for me and there was no one left to speak. Sisters and brothers, we must always speak out. We must always let our voices be heard loud and clear, loud and clear. We are not resting. We are not resting in the shadow of the King Memorial or Dr. King's work. We are marching on. We are marching on till victory, till victory is won. Together, together, let us restore democracy. Let us restore the American